We all wish we had a better memory, but just think about how much information your brain actually holds. Sure, we may forget the cousin-in-law's name or perhaps the formula we needed for that physics exam, but consider this. A healthy human adult can store an estimated 2,500 terabytes of information, which is approximately 2.5 billion novels. The human brain has an amazing memory. However, this isn't the case for the 25 million worldwide Alzheimer's disease sufferers whose memory is attacked by an incurable ailment. Their storage capacity declines and they begin to forget important memories until sometimes forgetting the most important memories. For an Alzheimer's patient, the world can sometimes be a lonely and confusing place. So why does this happen? Well, the cells of your brain create proteins and these proteins act like the machines of the cell doing all the work that the cell needs. Like any machine, these proteins begin to break down, but the body has an efficient recycling system. We think that in Alzheimer's brain, this protein production and recycling system has broken down, causing the buildup of a particular protein fragment called beta amyloid, which acts like uncollected rubbish in the suburbs of the brain, disrupting the normal processes. This initially affects a suburb involved in memory called the hippocampus, but can go on to affect outer neighborhoods involved in cognition and emotion. So your body responds to all this rubbish by declaring martial law, sending the immune system into the suburbs to clear it up. Now you have two types of immune system. The innate immune system, which acts like a tank. It's non-specific, effective, but it causes loads of collateral damage. This system is the key player in inflammation. But you also have the adaptive immune system, which is much more subtle and specific. Evidence suggests that your diet can affect the balance between these two immune systems. For example, being deficient in the micronutrient zinc seems to disable your adaptive immune system and increase your innate immune system's response. This is hugely important because over a third of the world's population is deficient in zinc. This led us to an idea. What if being zinc deficient during Alzheimer's disease increases your innate immune response to the rubbish in the suburbs? Perhaps zinc deficiency results in elevated inflammation in the brains of Alzheimer's sufferers and the collateral damage accelerates the disease. Well, this is our hypothesis and it's my job to test it. My name is Jack Riversorti and I'm a research associate at the University of Manchester.